that outsiders will go and find out the truth of what is happening. The methis and the cookies, cookies mostly in the hills and the methis in the plains, have loved, have lived in love and peace and harmony all these years. How is it that they suddenly become enemies and begin to attack each other? Whose hand is behind it? Hundreds of churches have been burnt, convents have been attacked, schools have been demolished, women have been raped, children are in despair, and who is behind it and why? It is ethnic cleansing and terrorizing the minority Christians. This is the truth and let us not fool ourselves. You mean to say a small state like Manipur cannot be restored to peace with thousands of our armed forces, police and others in place? Are you trying to tell me that the arms and ammunition depots which were looted was done without the connivance of the Manipur government? All these arms have gone into the hands of the Gundas who are creating all the trouble in Manipur. I am speaking boldly. Probably there will be a knock on my door and I will be charged with inciting anger. But it is high time that the citizens speak up. Fear is the greatest enemy in any country in democracy. Even the Supreme Court has now come out and said, you cannot stop public opinion from being expressed. I'm therefore saying today, I speak as a citizen, I speak as a proud citizen, I speak as a minority Christian, I speak as a woman whose heart goes out to the thousands of those women who have taken refuge in forests in Manipur, who have been thrown out of their homes and who have nowhere to go. They are our sisters, they are our children. Just Stretching a hand in charity is good, yes, but that's not the answer. I demand justice for the people of Manipur. I demand justice for the thousands who have been thrown out of their homes, thrown out of their villages and have nowhere to go. I demand food and shelter and peace and security for the people of Manipur. They are part of India. There are many things behind it, including ethnic cleansing, which has been let loose by the government of Manipur. We know the truth, we know the facts, but all that they may say does not convince us. I am asking two questions. The head minister has gone twice. Why has peace not been restored? What is the chief minister doing? Why is he not sacked and president's rule imposed in Manipur? I ask you, why has the prime minister been silent? Why not speak? Why not go to Manipur? You are hopping around the world. 
receiving international awards while the people of Manipur are dying. Is this what the Ache Din that were promised for us? Sabke Saath, Sabko Bala, Sab Kuch Bola. Yellarge Nau, Vandagi, Nord Koltele and the Heli Dabaru, Ivatu Yelli Dara, Mauna Pujari. Wondo Divasa, Wondo Statement Mandila Nama Pradhan Mantri Auro, E. Manipurina Janaro, Nama Janar Allave, Manipurina Nama Hudugaru, Hudigaru, Shalagaranu Bitu. BDL in Intidare, Yenu Kelta Idare, we want peace. One day slogan, we want peace. Then who is instigating the violence and why? This is what the people of India have to ask and ask boldly. Friends, I am here in solidarity with the people of Manipur. I was in charge of the northeastern states from my party from 1975 to 2009. I've been in every state, I've been in every village, I've been in every election campaign. I've been all over Manipur, the hills and the plains. I love the people of the Northeast because I have been involved with them. At the height of Naga insurgency in the 70s, I toured Nagaland and met the underground. I was with Lal Denga in Mizoram. I have met everybody. We have reached out to them. And as the late Rajiv Gandhi said, we lost the elections after we gave up the government and Lal Denga came to power. He said, my party has lost, but democracy and the constitution have won. <laughs> this is what is the call today, not partisan politics in Manipur. The Metis and the Cookies have lived in peace and harmony. They have to be allowed to live in peace and to let go on with their lives. Young people from Manipur are here. We see them in many parts of Bangalore. We are with you. May God bless you. May God bless all those who are charged with running your administration and your government. I want justice for the people of Manipur. We are a secular country. We are Christians, yes, but we are proud Indians. And we have played our role in this country, in the freedom movement and after the freedom movement. Why are you attacking the cookies, our churches? To drive them out? Send them where? To Bangladesh? To Mizoram? Where? Yesterday, the vice president of the BJP in Mizoram, a Christian, has resigned and his letter is worth reading. Now I realize, he says, that this party is against the Christians in the Northeast. We know it, we have seen it, and brothers and sisters, it is time for us to stop being goody-goody all the time, to stand up and demand justice and fight for the rights of the voiceless in Manipur, who are seeking the restoration of peace and their lives.
I thank you, Your Grace, for asking.